Hey everyone, Lone Wolf Jedi here, and welcome to part two of this little series I'm doing on the movies of this summer, the good, the bad, and the disappointing. This is part two, the bad, which basically means that the the uh, three movies I'm going to talk about in this one are the ones that I think were the worst movies this summer. And once again, I'm going to say that what's stated here is basically my own personal opinion and it's going to be in all three of these videos what I, what's what's stated in these videos is like I said my own personal opinion I'm not speaking for everybody I'm basically speaking for myself anyway now let's get on with the subject here um, I was going to take and put one movie in this list but um, I decided to move it to the disappointing uh, pile and when I, that, that I all, I also moved it when I realized that there was a mo another movie out this summer that was way worse. Okay, now first up is a movie that I personally was gonna you know rant about, but then I was like, you know what, forget it. And uh, I saw like f five minutes of this movie and thought this one was just horrible, and that movie was Dragon Ball Evolution. <coughs> that movie just basically, it just, whoever wrote it, or did, or, or even made it, obviously did not even read nor watch any of the Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, or whatever, you know, things that, of the of the series, I mean, it's basically it was it, in my opinion it was a slap in the face to Akira Toriyama, the man who created the Dragon Ball series, and it just just it just it didn't look good. It when I saw it, it didn't look good at first. Then I saw it at first five first uh, I say ten fifteen maybe five ten fifteen minutes I don't know. I said uh. -uh. You know, it said that uh, Piccolo came to Earth years, year, many, many, many years ago, and trying to take it over, and this, and set these seven sages sealed him away with the Dragon Balls. Wrong. Piccolo came here to Earth not too, not too long ago, and tried to take over the, take, try to take over the world, blah, blah blah. But it was basically wrong, okay? The next, uh, well, then, then of course, those the seven sages created the seven Dragon Balls. Wrong again. Piccolo created the Dragon Balls because the Dragon Balls were originated on his home planet of Namek. But, they, I guess they didn't, uh, I guess they didn't want to do that. I don't know why. I don't really care to. I don't really care to know. The second movie, this is the one that I had Replace the replace the movie that I put on the uh, disappointing pile. This movie the, that I replaced it with is probably, in my opinion, the worst film of the summer, and that movie is Bruno. I'm sorry, I am not a bit. I am not a fan of Sasha Baron Cohen. He really, I wouldn't say he. He he. T he pushes he pushes things he does things that are way 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 it's just not right he does things that are not basically aren't supposed to be done um i saw a few minutes i saw bits and pieces of borat and thought yeah if i was middle eastern i would be offended by this I, I didn't even see Bruno. I knew what it was about, but I was saying if I was gay, I would be hugely offended by this movie. So, back to now on to uh, the third and final movie of this series, of this group that I'm going to do here. Year One. Basic story about Year One is is basic. It's it's. The way it looks to me, it looks like it looks like Mel Brooks' History of the World. 
part Mel Brooks History of the World Part One, which you know that's what it reminded me of, and I would have seen it had it not had Jack Black in it. <clears throat> I mean, I got nothing against Jack Black as a person, but I just I'm just not a big fan of his acting. And uh, I would have seen it because um, the other person that was in it, Michael Cera. In my opinion, Michael Cera is a pretty decent, funny, young actor. I mean, I've been a fan of his since since the show that he was on with my, with, uh, what was it, uh, Jason Bateman? I think that show was called uh, Arrested Development. He played He played his son. And, you know, he's he was fun, funny then, and he's still pretty funny. Um, but like I said, I would have probably seen Year One had it not been, if had it not start, had it not had Jack Black not been in it. And like I said, no offense, to Jack Black, I don't, I, I, I don't, I have nothing against him as a person. I just don't really like his acting. Um, now as for the next. That's all. That's all I gotta say about these three movies. These three movies, personally, I think, are the worst movies this summer. Now, the next video I'm gonna do is gonna be the disappointing. Basically, put movies that were either overhyped uh, or people went in with a thing with a feeling of, "Hey, this is gonna be a great movie," uh, blah blah blah, and they come out and, th- and they're saying, "What the fuck." I wasted my money on this crap. So, um, till then, folks, I'll, uh, see you in the next video.